passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better watch your Hey loves welcome back to the channel so this is an impromptu video while I was filming makeup hauls, apartment tours, and stuff like that. I was like, um, hello. I had a video that I've been needing to film. So, apparently, this video is not even going to be super long. It's just like a more so, what the hell happened to Monotiques? How do you host this huge sale? Huge! Big Friday, not Big Friday, Black Friday Big Sale. You know, and you know Black Friday is when everybody goes ham. Um, everybody goes ham and they get all the sales, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, all of that. And Monotiques hosted a sale and they ghosted everybody. Everybody including influencers, customers, I don't know who else they work with, but every single person. Like, I'm just baffled. Like, I'm, is, how do you even do that to people you know and i'm deleting every single monotiques video on my site or on my um in not instagram damn but every post on my instagram about monotiques is going to be deleted um or if i tag their jeans or something untagged i can't promise you i'm going to get through like 500 photos but if it was strictly dedicated to monotiques gone it's just crazy to me how you can do that to people you know people who spend their hard-earned money and to be honest i don't just i didn't just receive clothes you know for monotiques i also purchased clothes with my own money i know they were doing new things to the site like they were adding in clothes clothes like rumpers and stuff like that so i'm like i don't know if they're revamping and rebranding but you don't host a huge sale and then go in my a and when you go to, the, apparently a new page was made called monotiques.shop and they posted me and I'm like, what? Like, look, it's real. It's real. I don't know if my camera's going to get it, but yeah, this is the, yeah, that's it. And that's like a, a page. And I'm like, that's not them. But now when you type in monotiques, if people stop going live, I can type it in. Sheesh. It doesn't come up. Ugh. When you type in monotiques, it doesn't come up. The only thing that comes up is this right here, which says monotiques.shop, and that's not their real Instagram. Their real Instagram was deleted. Um, when you go to their website, I'm going to monotiques.com, monotiques. Monotiques. Come on. Why I gotta type the whole thing in? Anyways, you go to Monotiques and click on their site. This is what you see. It says that. Like, it's a Shopify website that says, sorry, this shop is currently unavailable. Um, excuse me? How are you unavailable? You definitely, like, I think it's so crazy. How do you ghost people? How do you let people spend their money? If you knew you were going out of business as a business and you know you can't supply certain demands, why would you host a sale knowing you couldn't fulfill that? Like, I'm just, I don't know, y'all. And um, I emailed the person I worked with and... I'm going to see. Let's see. I emailed the person. Because I've worked with Monotiques since they started offering plus size. And probably about five times. Five to six times over the past year and a half. Or something like that. So let's see how far back these messages go. 2017. May 28th, 2017. And that was like the first collab we ever did. So all the way up to... We did our last collab September 10th, 2018, September 14th. Um, okay, so October 15th was when I was able to post it um, and go live. And they had, they did pay me um, because it was a sponsored video. So they sent the jeans and they paid me. That was October 15th, 2018. So 
after that, uh, and this was the manager, I believe. Yeah, I was talking to a general manager of Mono Teats. And I said, December 7th, when people around that time, um, people started commenting on my YouTube videos, on my Instagram, DMing me, everything. Like, hey, do you know what happened to Mono Teats? Da, 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 da. I'm like, what happened to Mono Teats, you know? Because it was like, I did my collab back in October. Didn't really look back. Didn't really constantly check the site and stuff like that. Like, I just didn't really know until people started commenting. What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm like, I don't know, you know? So, December 7th, 2018, I hit up the contact that I had and I said, hi. His name was John. Hi, John. Just curious. Many people are contacting me about the site. Why is it down? Many people are saying they've ordered, they've placed orders and they haven't been fulfilled and they can't contact you guys at all. I don't want them taking it out on me. I don't want them taking it out on other customers, I mean not customers, but influencers. And I don't want a bad reputation for Mono Teaks. And nothing. So I said, hello. Um, people are still saying that they received, they haven't received their orders. Um, do you have any updates on when the site will be back or when people will receive their orders? Still nothing. Hello, any updates? So this is December 7th, this is December 15th, and then this is December 25th. I don't know why I contacted them on Christmas thinking that they would freaking respond. So I'm just like, I contacted them three times. There's no way to get in contact with them on their website. I don't know if you can ever find a number for them on, you know, did my boyfriend come in? I don't know if you can find a number for them on like Google or something. I don't know if they ever had a customer service number. I don't even know. But my thing is, it's just, it sucks because people take it out on you. They feel like as an influencer, you made us trust this brand, which I, I totally understand. Because if I was watching somebody with, um, you know, a following on social media and I was, I guess, recommended something and I go purchased it and I never received it, I would totally, totally know how you feel, but I would not be in that person's comments like, you did this and this, that, and the third, and blah, say, blah, say, blah. Um, somebody actually, like, tagged me in a post and was like, yeah, you know, I um, contacted such and such and my comments were deleted and I uh, asked this person to like talking about me and they just didn't respond and it's crazy how we trust these influencers and you know I'm not saying verbatim word for word what they said but it was something to that effect like you know we trust you guys to uh you know tell us recommend things and review things and then we go and buy it and we trust your opinion and then all of a sudden we get scammed Monotique scammed the world. Monotique scammed whoever ordered on Black Friday and passed that point. It's really ridiculous. And what is that? Um, the day after Thanksgiving? So, I mean, I will apologize for working with them multiple times and for putting you guys on and introducing you all. But it's like, it's totally out of my control. It's totally out of my hands. It's nothing I can personally do um, that I haven't tried to do already but delete the content that I did make for them. Um, and again, just release this video and let you guys know. I have no clue. I wasn't warned about this. I had just worked with them in October. I didn't know that a couple months later they would just do this. And just to do it after you receive so much money, like... If you guys could, I would say go complain through the Better Business Bureau because somebody has to be liable for this. Um, somebody has to be liable and held responsible for what they did. You can't just scam somebody, take their money, and just close a business and run on with your life. Like I don't think businesses don't work like that. So I'm pretty sure if they were a legit business, what I feel, which I feel like they were, um, you can definitely, I'm going to go look it up now. Can you go to the Better Business Bureau and look them up and follow, file a complaint? Um, yeah, you can file a complaint. You can still file a complaint. So I just looked them up on the Better Business Bureau and they did pop up. 
and you can definitely still file a complaint not sure if that's going to get you your money back but what um what i did do was i actually filed a complaint for fashion over one time when i had it was actually the christmas before last christmas that just passed well, christmas before this past christmas um i had ordered some things like a month in advance and I didn't receive them when I needed them. So I did definitely file a complaint because I wasn't getting the answers I wanted from my contact. And I was like, yeah, no, I think it's really messed up. Um, yeah, I, was, I just think it's really messed up that you know, I ordered it purposely ahead of time and still haven't received it and still not getting the answers that I want. The next day, or I would say probably that same day, I received tracking. Um in an email from the company just a lot of things so i'm just like it sucks that you have to go through all of that and just because monotiques no longer has a website they're no longer selling clothes i'm not sure if a complaint will rectify the situation not sure if that'll even get you your refund but uh it's just something that you could do and just because looking at it only 57 complaints in the past what i forgot how many days i said but just because i only have 57 i'm just like yeah, a lot of people probably didn't even go to the BBB to complain about them because they probably felt like it was pointless if they no longer have a site, Instagram, anything. Like, they literally, they literally scammed the world. They literally scammed the nation, y'all. I, I just don't see how you would do that. How you would host a freaking Black Friday sale and then just poof and disappear. Delete your social media, delete your website, like... They had to make bank with that. They had to. And it was like, was y'all raided and shut down by the government? Was you, you know, did y'all not file taxes every... I just don't know. I don't know what happened. And it sucks because the general manager did not get back to me. He did not let me know what happened. I don't have another contact with Monotiques. Um, Let me see. That blue arrow, as you guys can see, is sent. So I sent that message. <laughs> so you guys know, I am not playing. Like these, it just, I think that is so crazy. How do you do that to people? And it just sucks because like I said, I promoted them for over a year. And you just disappear. And then John, he was contacting me from info at monotiques.com so those are the two emails i have pr at monotiques.com and info at monotiques.com this doesn't guarantee that you'll get a response but this is the email that i know this is what i was contacted off and hopefully rachel gets back to me hopefully john gets back to me um i'm gonna actually text john and say hello any updates okay well not text but email because it just makes it just makes everybody look bad. It makes people not trust influencers. It makes influencers not trust businesses. And honey, if Fashion Nova was to do this, if Fashion Nova, GS Love, any big brand right now that's popping on it, you know, on social media, pretty little thing, was to host a huge sale on a Black Friday, a Memorial Day, whatever the case is, and then disappear like you know how many people will be on their asses but i feel like monotiques is really low-key or was really low-key when it came to jeans and stuff they were trying to get their names out there that people they weren't fashion over you know they weren't as big so people really didn't care not too many people but i'm pretty sure at least hundreds of people cared you know hundreds of people place their orders and you just disappear but i know what um with Fashion Nova, it would probably be thousands of people placing orders and million, probably a million people placing orders, you know. And for them to disappear, that would be a whole strike, a whole riot. People going to every store that Fashion Nova has, if they still have their standing stores um, or physical stores. But Monotiques didn't have that. So Monotiques was more low-key, more under the radar. So I guess they felt like they could get away with that. But I'm sorry, guys, that you had to deal with this. I'm sorry that Monotiques scammed the world. I just don't want you guys to take it out on influencers because you're not just commenting under my stuff, but you're commenting under everybody's things that have worked with them. And we have no clue as to what happened. At least I don't have any clue as to what happened. And 
<laughs> I just hope this doesn't happen in the future. And I guess we got to be more careful with who we pick as far as who we want to work with and review. But you never know that something like this would happen with a brand. Um, so thank you guys for joining. Leave your thoughts down below um, about how Monoti scammed the world. And I'm just going to go film some more videos. I have a closet tour, makeup desk tour, and an office tour guest bedroom or bathroom tour to film um i did my whole entire apartment tour today but i just wanted to do in depth in those four rooms um i would do my linen closet but it's not the best right now so yeah thank you guys for joining um i guess fuck you mono t especially if you don't email me back and yeah <laughs>